Hello, my name's Nick French and I'm one of the Avigen Incubation Specialists. And in this short presentation, I'd like to tell you how to determine the correct incubator humidity for your machines. Why is humidity important? Humidity is important because it controls how water is lost from the egg during incubation. Eggs lose water because they have porous eggshells. This picture shows an electron micrograph of an eggshell cross-section. And what you can see running across the picture is a respiratory pore. This pore is important because it allows oxygen to enter the egg and carbon dioxide and water to leave the egg. And we must have these pores so that the embryo inside the egg can breathe. So because we have these pores in the egg, the eggs will lose water. And typically, they will lose about 11 to 12% of their fresh egg weight by 18 days of incubation. The rate of water loss will depend on the humidity of the incubator and also the porosity of the eggshell, more technically known as conductance. Eggshell conductance can vary between different types of eggs different strains or different breed of flock ages. The loss of water from the egg will allow the air cell at the top of the egg to form. And it's important that this air cell forms because this is the space inside the egg that the embryo needs to inflate its air sacs when it first starts to breathe. If there's not enough space in the air cell, then the air sacs cannot fully inflate and therefore will not be able to breathe properly. And you'll end up with more unhatched eggs at pipping stage. Conversely, if too much water is lost from the eggs, then there is a risk that the embryo will desiccate and dry out. There is also water generated from the fat metabolism. Embryos metabolize fat as their main source of energy throughout incubation, and this generates water. And the amount of water lost from the egg almost exactly matches the amount generated from the fat metabolism. This graph from some Israeli study shows the relationship between hatchability and egg water loss for individual eggs. And what you can see in this graph there's a wide range of water losses where hatchability is about the same, but when you get to very high or very low water losses, then the hatchability declines dramatically. Now, this is on individual eggs, but we're normally managing whole batches of eggs, whole groups of eggs. So what we're trying to do is get as many of our eggs in this ideal zone for hatchability. This graph here shows the normal distribution of water loss from individual eggs, and if we match that with the relationship with hatchability, what we're trying to do is get as many of the eggs to be in this ideal zone as possible, as showed by the black box. If the humidity is too high in the incubator, what happens is the water loss is lower and the distribution of eggs is shifted more into the left side of the graph, which then you end up with poor hatchability due to too little water loss. And we have more eggs outside the ideal zone. So we need to decrease the incubator humidity to bring the eggs back into the ideal region. Conversely, if the incubator humidity is too low, the distribution of eggs shifts to the right, and you have more eggs on the poor hatchability on the right-hand side of the zone. And again, what you need to do is bring the eggs back into the box by increasing the incubator humidity. So we can measure this quite easily by weighing eggs, and we need, only need to weigh whole trays of eggs to do this. We weigh eggs at the start of incubation, re-weigh them at 18 days at transfer, and then calculate the water loss. We must make sure that we measure at 18 days so if we do a uh, transfer at 19 or 17 days, we need to correct the value that we calculate so that we are comparing 18, at 18 days. 
If the humidity is outside the ideal zone of 11 to 12 percent, then we need to make an adjustment. This graph shows the results from a, day, a commercial hatchery, which shows their results for different water loss levels uh, as a comparison against their expected hatch for the age of the breeder flock. And you can see that the, the 11 to 12 percent range were the ones that were giving you the best results. And the further away they got from that ideal, the 11 to 12 percent, the worse the hatchability was as compared to their expected hatch. So in summary, we can find the right humidity for our incubator by measuring egg weight loss. And ideally, eggs should be losing between 11 to 12 percent of their fresh egg weight by day 18 of incubation. We have written a procedure for measuring egg weight loss which you can obtain from your avigen representative. With that, thank you for your attention.